Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Wonders 3 with me, Get Daved. In the last episode, nothing bad happened and we don't need to talk about it. Uh, we won a battle at the end, that was nice. Took some casualties, but nothing to freak out about quite yet. The music got very nice. I altered uh, my recording process just a little bit, so let me know how it sounds. The goal is for it to be good. Hmm. Well, I'm producing archers here, so I feel like we should have that. And support units could be good as well, so we'll get them going on that. Use up all the money. He needs an army. Okay. That's good. Uh, select a hex for it. Oh, that's slightly more complicated. We'll get the army defending the capital, because that is more important than those backwater hillbillies over in the suburbs. We've, uh, eliminated, I think, the immediate threat. fire node. A tier 2 monster. They seem pretty tough. I'm not going to take them out quite yet. Yes, we've got some much weaker orcs over yonder actually. And I'll even still wait one further turn before we go after them. Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yay, money! Brondheim has been absorbed into the Empire. Good news, everyone! So we can get some Dwarven units now. I don't really know any, anything about that. They seem cheaper, I think. Oh, but they require upkeep. Oh no, everybody requires upkeep. Well, I guess the Dwarven units are just cheaper. Not sure if I want to be producing like armies there. But it would be nice if they could help out. Help out the cause in general. Not exactly sure what happiness does for a city, but your armies gain it if their morale goes up. Also, Brontheim has 90 production. Seems pretty good. Way better than Elindi. But what do you expect from High Elves? They've never worked a hard day in their life. Okay. Actually, they don't really have the infrastructure. We've intentionally kept them in the Stone Age. Yeah, I'm not going to mess around with Elindi too much since we're leaving it completely undefended for now. Oh, we'll go with that for now. On the grounds that I barely know what I'm doing. 
We'll be going on the Cherubic Summoning. Uh, we don't have a Martyr in on the team yet, so we will produce one just to see what he's all about. Uh, he seems like a reasonable and balanced fellow, though, so that's nice. No priests either. I like the idea of having more domain radius. That'll give us something to do over here, too, because we're about to have a slight influx of military units. There will be skulls that need cracking. Hmm. Yes, there's going to be no shortage of things to do. Uh, you just stay there for now. Very good. And let's get some combat in here. We need the sidekick involved. The auto combat seems pretty good at resolving the conflict without, uh, I don't know, gratuitous, or like, extra losses or anything like that. There's no gratuitous bloodshed. Sometimes you never know what sort of general strategy or algorithm will be used. Okay, they've got range. A couple people have brought it to my attention that, um, you have a penalty uh, you suffer from when you have your archers shoot at the extreme of their range. I'm actually aware of this, but willing to take the penalty in a lot of situations just to prevent them from uh, being exposed to a rush. Throw javelin. Interesting, they're a very balanced unit. Hmm. It's tempting to just try rushing them only get one attack against them. Yeah, we'll try the rush, I think. Um, do we want to try casting a spell is the big question. Whoops. No, neither of those is really necessary. Uh, yeah, okay, run them down, boys. Probably should have arrowed them first. Well, actually, I definitely should have arrowed them first, but again. It's what retrospection is all for. These guys probably will not get into a position to help all that much, yeah. Question is, do we want to rush in with the hero? Probably not. Two to four times two. I'll, I'll take this. I won't be able to kill them. Morale low. Have I been fighting too much? We've had great success. 
Maybe they don't enjoy all the constant killing. And Raspic, what will we do with you? Yeah, he can play shot for shot over here. Let's go for it. Alright, get ready for the bad news, everybody. Not bad. <laughs> 10 to 16 and he'll be dead. Would have been better if I marched them in a little bit, but again, I think we got this situation under control now. All right, finish the job, Raspic. There we go. Those tier one enemies aren't too bad when, <laughs> when we have two to one odds on them. And terrible, terrible morale. Everybody does a bit more damage? That sounds pretty good. Oh. Well, morale's nice and low, so maybe we should look into it. But I'm going to go Sacred Arms for now. And... Some of these looked pretty good, but anyway, we'll worry about it later. Uh, defense is always nice. I get shot at a fair bit. Wow. Yeah, maybe we'll just hang out for a bit. Is it a happy town? Not particularly. Ah, he longs for the pleasures of home. That's fine. These guys need some seasoning anyway. All right, we've got our martyr. I've got a good feeling about how things are going to turn out for him. I'm sure his... well, actually, his morale might be just fine. Oh, where to summon? You can keep Raspic company. What's... what's the offer? Uh. Oh, okay, a peace treaty. Yeah, sure. Ever since I thwarted your attempt to uh, recreate the movie The Birds. Relation hateful, but peaceful. Good enough. Great. Cool. Uh, I like the sound of Crusaders, even though I guess they have really nice defenses, actually. And they're pretty strong. Yeah, I like the looks of them. 
more spell casts per turn. I'm going to grab that on the grounds that it's quick and easy and it sounds like something that could become extremely important in the near future. We're going to leave them for one more turn just so we can build up the, the final unit, the final countdown. Alright. Oh good everybody, we're slightly good. Alright, we've got a priest, a martyr, and a rabbi. And they're all gonna walk into a bar. Okay, let's uh go meet the neighbors, shall we? Oh, fine. Okay, that should allow... Oh. We're already losing a little bit here. We've got to go take care of that wyvern. I learned just this past weekend that a wyvern only has two legs. They're more like a pterodactyl. Whereas the dragon's got four and the wings. A dragon is much less realistic. Okay, I'm looking for one to expand our domain by one here. Hmm. Well, we'll start with the laboratory. That leads to the observatory, which I think increases the, uh, the territory. And... Over at the home city, yeah, stone wall walls are on their way. Good. So we can, uh, you know, stonewall our enemies. Quite literally. Dwarf axemen and crossbowmen. What is so different about them? The Forge Priest. Really good defense. Sure, we might as well make some Dwarven units over here. I also kind of want to explore some territory and see if I can't find uh, a nice place to settle, because, I mean, all the spots have kind of been taken. Liam Neeson levels of takenness. All right, now their morale is super high. <laughs> I did it. Cool. Uh, we could use some money, so I'll just let them do that for a bit. Good. Very good. Man, heroes left and right. A level three sorcerer. Okay, now we can cast spells more. That is, uh, yeah, preventative. And oh goodness, we got some spells to cast here. Paid absolution. Now we're talking. Like, don't I want this on every city? No, that's fine. Boy, I really regret not doing this sooner. Uh, unless you're gonna make me money. More research, yeah, I guess. I guess that's okay. No, you know what? I want to save up money so we can get that extra hero. Fine. Okay. 
Everybody's fine game. Can have a rumble over there. Oh, we'll start with the wisps, I think. No, no. We'll go straight to these jerks. And, uh, yeah, let's see how we do, everybody. I guess there was lots left to do on that turn. We've got our extremely terrifying cherubim. And apparently some sort of tornado. No, I, that's magical energy or something, I'm sure. Because as we all know from fantasy, if it has any energy to it whatsoever, it's only going to manifest itself through uh, impressive particle effects. And color swirls. Okay. That's pretty cool. And they have, like, not not terrible offense. They can hold their own. A veritable cleric. I mean, if they're gonna charge, that's very feral of them to just go for it, but not the best idea in the world. Good work, team. I have some concern that this obsidian wyvern can uh, probably breathe fire or something. I think we're okay. So I guess this is equivalent of like a prospector for the dwarves. What do you crazy guys do? You maniacs. But boy, can they throw hard. Okay, so we've got uh, the baseball players over there. Lion's Courage. That's what I was looking for the other time. I don't think any of this will be necessary. How disappointing. Well, sorry cherubs. Didn't exactly realize I was marching you into harm's way. 7 to 11 times 3, sign me up. Okay, they've got nothing. This guy has several counterattacks left, though, which is a little alarming. Probably can't realistic take him out at realistically take him out at range. So, who's got the best defense? I think it's you guys have drawn the short straw. Ten to fourteen times three. A very good chance we'll be saying goodbye. Well, if I'm going to throw someone's life away... Oh, goodness. No, it'll be the Civic Guard. It was economically viable! Wow, they made it! And the, en the enemy's shield is down. Commence attack on the main reactor! May take a casualty or two here. Also, we could link the martyr and sort of tank damage for them.
I think we want to do this, though. Crazy zealots. Alright, take some good care of them. And there's too many enemy active or units active, so one problem solved. And they have crazy poisonous retaliations. Hmm. I think we might lose somebody. No! The martyrs were martyred! I will have none of that appropriate irony. Non-irony. <laughs> Predictability. Well, that's alright. That looked like one of the tougher conflicts. There was a four above them. So, I am fine with the casualties. Everybody tell the men I'm fine with what happened. All right, Bursum. Sorry about the name, but you can uh, join us. Ah, Gustav. Is there anything I need? A peace treaty? I guess we'll just buddy him up for now. And it looks like somebody would test our resolve. We'll deal with them in the next video, everybody. I'll see you there.